What's up guys and welcome to a new video. So this time we're going to be talking about USA versus GLA, a very common matchup in Zero Hour because there's obviously the four, four USA armies and there's the four GLA armies. So out of the 144 matchups you are going to get this matchup uh, quite a lot. Um, I'm just playing in sandbox mode so just by myself for now I'm just going to show you like a standard uh, USA opening that's kind of the meta or the, the usual build order that a GLA would do at the moment and then in a second we'll, we'll go into watch a replay and see why someone lost what's the story so let's build this is the kind of standard build order you want to always be blocking in um, a dozer so it can't be dozer hunted by a tech yeah, and RPGs so the most common thing at the moment is to box it in this way it's the most the easiest and that gives the dozer the most room so if you lose a power plant later on you can actually build a power plant inside there um, now with this one here once this supply is built you can either uh, send this dozer down the side to scout for a worker or you can go and drop it on the enemy's base and usually we'll do it on the unsafe unsafe supply so his second supply immediately once that's ready you want to be building a V and you want to get your barracks ready you can even have that dozer on like hotkey 5 so you can flip back to it later you want to unload this dozer and you want to be like killing some workers you can like use the alt key to uh, kill some workers and with this Chinook you want to be collecting from that supply or you want to be going over here and collecting from there um, with this, with this uh, V, I was actually a little bit slow there because I was explaining. As soon as that V comes out, you want to be sending it over there or sending it over here, depending on what what your drone sees. You want to be looking for that first worker, and whichever direction that first or second or even third worker goes, you want to be putting your first V straight away without delay into that direction. So if the first worker goes to the left, your first V goes to the left, and no hesitation, you can even um, waypoint it straight over there so it goes straight over there. And then, uh, what you want to be doing is, then you want to be gathering um, a load of V's, and when you've got like five V's or whatever, you want to be going out. And when you go out, you want to be ideally bunkering off one side, so you can do a bunker there while you push down in the middle or clear the left, or another common thing that I like to do is block off this side. So if this dozer didn't do a drop, Actually, that should be collected. If um, that dozer didn't do a drop before, I would go back here and I would put um, put a fire base like there and put the dozer behind it so it's nice and secure. Um, and block off that side and then clear this side and clear that side. And the fire base will probably, maybe with two rockets in there or even two fire bases, will block off that whole side and deny it from like quads and stuff. Or the GLA will be hesitant to uh, attack it. And generally, what you want to be doing is just defending against. Um, Tech, uh, tech RPGs, uh, good micro, good laser lock, and stopping uh, Chinooks going down. You want to be stopping um, Terror Tech. So even if if he unloads four terrorists, if it's the normal GLA, it's four terrorists. Or if he's demo or tox, it takes three to kill a supplier or a war factory. You want to be picking off one of those terrorists, just one of them, and it'll stop it from uh, exploding, and then you haven't got to rebuild it. Um, there is a few other uh, dozer drop options, and you can even go like three dozers and stuff, which I'll explain in a second. But that's generally what you want to be doing. Um, we're just going to watch a replay from a guy called Irvin, who is a viewer on my channel. And he sent in this replay, um, he, so he's playing in the south as a laser, and he's under the name Fadovs or Fadovsi, I don't know what that is. And he's playing against Dusty Rose, so one of the um, decent Russian players, probably like the first or second best Russian player, I think. So we're going to watch what um, Fedovsi does, and he does lose this game, and I'll tell you he loses this game, and we're going to point out all mistakes and try and help him improve. He's specifically asked how to play against, or he's asked specifically how, how to play against Dusty Rhodes' build order, but we're just going to talk in general, not exactly against this build order. <coughs> Okay, so he is boxing in his dozer exactly like I said. You can either do it like that, or you can put a war factory there and a barracks there, so you leave like a triangle for your dozer. I do prefer this way though because it leaves more space. So he is doing the dozer drop that we just did. That war factory is a bit slow, you could have shaved three seconds off that. 
so Dozer Drop. If he'd have dropped it over here, like I just did in that replay, he would have killed all those workers easy. He's got a fake arms dealer, he just upgraded it, so that would have been slow. He would have been able to deny all that mining easily, and Dusty Roads wouldn't be collecting off one supply. Instead, um, for Dovsi is... Right, this Chinook now needs to be going collecting, because he's only collecting at... 75% at the moment. Each Chinook is 25%, let's say. He's only collecting on 75%. Now he's going to go and drop over here. Dusty Rhodes moving his worker. This is kind of okay. He's collect he's collecting now like he should. Now he's going to put it back inside. So he's still mining on 55%. This first V hasn't gone out, so this tunnel here has been building for like the last 30 seconds. One of these V's could have gone to the right side or the left side and stopped to work here. Instead, they're sitting in his base doing nothing. So that's why a tunnel's going to get up here and a tunnel's going to get up there. And GLA's going to have the three-pronged attack now. So that's a, a real bad situation that you do not want to be in against GLA. Okay, so where did that... Dozer, oh, the dozer's been brought back home. Okay, so you, you don't need to do that. It's all wasted micro time. You're better leaving the dozer over there, bringing the Chinook straight home after one collection and getting it collecting back on 100% straight away and have that dozer walking around there. Leave it on a hotkey and your terrorist can chase it all day and you can out micro that guy and he could still be on no supply, uh, no supply there, I guarantee you. <clears throat> so... GLA in the early game is all about, GLA is strong early game, USA is strong in the mid game and GLA is back strong in the late game. So in this early game, uh, Dusty Rhodes wants to be doing as much harassment and as, dam as damage as possible to minimize the point where USA becomes so strong and gets these amount of Vs uh, full of rockets in the mid game where USA is strong. So Dusty Rhodes now is trying to do as much damage and as much harassment as possible until he can get buggies and quads out later, which is when Tox is going to be strong, or any GLA. Let's not talk about just about Tox. Tox is even worse because you get the Demo Rebel, uh, not Demo Rebel Ambush, you get the uh, uh, Toxin Ambush, and that can kill a whole army of these, kill all of them Vs easily, so it's even stronger for, for, for Dovsi. Okay, so for Dovsi's only on 800, he's been harassed loads by... Um, Dusty Roads, uh, Chinooks are not, are not collecting, they're not numbered, so you want to have your left Chinooks on 9, these ones on 0, or 1 and 2, or whatever hotkeys you want, 5 and 6, and you want to have them moving away as soon as they're in danger, and you want to have them collecting when they're not in danger. If there's only one RPG, it can take a few shots and you can get the fees to close it down. If there's like five, I suggest moving it away until you've cleared it. Like that one, for example. He's actually lost the, lost the Chinook here. Um, so Dusty Rhodes is continuing the harassment. Dusty isn't actually doing that much. He's not harassing that much. I mean, what two RPGs... Uh, and a tech with some terrorists in it. Behind this, he's not macroing up. He's not getting his oil. He's got two supply, uh, two war factories, which I don't really like for for Tox because um, it has expensive uh, techs. I think they cost 600. Uh, might be wrong. Might be 500. But I don't like that. I'd rather go fast palace. And also, he hasn't got his oil. And he could even have this oil. He could get the capture upgrade, get a bike over there, evacuate the bike, and have that oil. So Dusty Roads actually isn't playing that good this game. I'm not that impressed by uh, what Dusty Rhodes is doing, but what he is doing is Dovsi is like being a bit scared and sticking in his base and just running around and chasing these Vs and he's too slow. That's probably going to unload, I was going to say terrorist, that could have been another kill. He has managed to stop that. General, our base is under attack. Uh, these Vs want to be more full. He would be ahead in economy if he didn't mess around in the beginning. Uh, with that uh, Chinook, that, t that Dozer could still be walking around there. And um, what you could have even done is put a barracks there and then like a firebase there to block it in and a tech and RPG won't be able to kill it. I know that's a bit like next level stuff, but that's something you could have done. Uh, possibly. It probably m it might have failed. You might not be able to block that off with a firebase, but you could still be doing more over here with that Dozer. Maybe not at this point, but earlier on. <clears throat> so because... Um, Dobsy's still running around trying to catch these techs, but not 
not really paying attention. Like this is a slow reaction from him again. He's got no fire bases to block off his side. Like you could even split your V's up, have some over here and be fine over there. But what I prefer to do is block off one side with some fire bases or clear those tunnels. He could have cleared that from the beginning, secure that bunker, and then you've got you've not got a side to worry about, and then you can just focus on the middle and the left. Probably I would go for the left because uh, it takes a long time for Dusty to send units through the middle. <coughs> so I'm not really going to watch the rest of this. It's it's already lost from here. If if any player jumped in game here, it's already a difficult situation because uh, Dusty Rhodes is on full supplies. It's getting close to his palace. He's done loads of da the damage that he needs to, and Fedovs is just running around, uh, being harassed again. These Chinooks have moved away, not not collecting. You don't need to move away against one quad, especially when you've got Vs there already, and get them back collecting straight away. These these Vs all need to be full. These empty Vs are going to do nothing against um, against Tox tunnels and uh, techs, and there's like no map control, so it kind of all fell apart from the beginning. Okay, so gonna show you. Um, I'm gonna show you a bit of paint actually. So we're gonna talk about um, USA and the strength on the side, strength of the army versus GLA, and this is the time of the game. So in the beginning, GLA has got tax RPGs that are faster than uh, V's, and you can run circles round. USA so in the beginning USA is very weak and then as he gets more and more V's he gets to this point in the middle where USA is at its strongest you should have like uh, eight V's loads of rockets you should have the fire base on the right side and then USA is dominant for there and then um, GLA builds his palace so the palace gets up and as soon as uh, Buggy's in uh, the ambush, if he's either Demo or Tox, um, Buggies and Quads come out and Jarman, then suddenly USA, in my opinion, this is goes uh, all the way back down and GLA should win. So this is the time when you want to be good, so you don't want to take any damage like around here. You want to minimize the damage and then push out and that's when you're strongest here. Okay, so... Um, we talked about his mistakes in there. I'm going to show you a different kind of dozer drop that you can do. So this is a game I played two days ago and I did this exactly for this video. And so in this game we're going to go for a a double drop I like to call it. Or not a double drop, we're going to do a dozer rush and then a drop on the other supply. So we're going three dozers. Um, so the first dozer is going to build the power plant and then the second dozer from the command center is going to go straight to his unsafe supply so in tournament desert that will be the left hand side if you're playing against the north or if you're playing against the bottom guy in tournament desert that'll be against the right so the first dozer is going to go over here and it's going to harass now all um this is curious to, uh, tasmani all his focus is going to be on that uh, dozer as soon as he sees it and as soon as he starts running over so the double dozer rush is going to be this second one in a second. The Chinook is going to appear and we're going to put that dozer straight in there. So just fast forward this little tiny bit. You can actually, so he doesn't see this one coming, you can waypoint it down the side. But in this case I've just gone straight to him. This one I've got hotkeyed as four. And I'm running over some stuff and I've got this one on a different hotkey over here. Uh, yeah, so that was on three, the dozer's not on anything. I've killed some stuff and now that so he's lost like four workers there or three and he's losing some here. So straight away GLA is on the uh, on the back foot. Giving you some time to see, to build up. <clears throat> because I built the extra dozer, this war factory is a little bit slower, but would we're, we're distracting him so much and that Chinook now will collect once and then it will um, drop it there and then collect back from there. So you're back on a hundred percent and look how many workers I killed. I killed three over here and I killed loads over here so it's put him straight on the back foot. Now he's got to worry about rebuilding them. It's going to be a while before he's back on six workers and he's got to rebuild that. Um, and now in the meantime I'm in the perfect place. I'm back on 100% economy and now just got to defend against uh, anything. Defend against tech RPGs. Uh, don't take any damage. Don't Try not to get any terror techs. Uh, blow up your supplies. I'm just going to fast forward. So he kills like one or two rockets there. 
This one's going back to harass him. So we're putting GLA on the back foot. We're not letting the GLA control the game. Because when the GLA controls the game, that's when USA has already lost. So because we need that double, double dojo drop now, I'm able to go forward with these Vs. And basically that's already it over. We go on to win that game from there. So that's a different kind of do dozer drop you can do. This is uh, another replay. Uh, so we're against Curious again. This is from the same day a few days ago. Um, so we're against um, GLA in the top and we're laser. So you don't have to sell your command center is what I'm trying to show here. Uh, this dozer is going to go forward. We're going to do. We're going to stay on 100% collecting from the beginning. Uh, as soon as you've got enough, you can build that war factory. And this one is going to go. So I scouted and I saw the first worker was going here. I'm straight there. He's only on 24%, and I'm already causing him problems. That's all he's thinking about now. He's trying to get that tunnel probably back up. Oh, he's actually. Uh, he's still trying to build it, but he's going to go for a terror attack that he was already uh, preparing. So I'm trying to stop it. I'm trying to pick off one terrorist. Unfortunately, I missed that, and that sometimes will happen, and you'll get the explosion. Now I'm going to be left with five Chinooks. When I rebuild that, I'm going to get a free one, so I'm going to be on five. So this one can pick up the Rangers in USA versus GLA. You will often lose a building and get free Rangers, do a combat drop on a, an important building that you need, and use that to clear a, to clear the middle. So on the Tournament Desert, you can use that to clear the uh, to clear the side bunkers. And in this case, I used it to clear there. In the Tournament Desert, you can also use it to clear the middle. Um, what has he killed there? I think he killed maybe one or two guys. And uh, he's killed a dozer, but a dozer is not bi a big problem. Um, you'll often find yourself with five Chinooks, like I said. So get the fifth one collecting from the middle. So I'm actually collecting on the five Chinooks rather than the four. That one Chinook will uh, make a big difference. And you'll notice you'll be able to build um, Strategy Center and, and get oil sooner. And lo and behold, I'm blocking off uh, a side with a fire base and this bunker on the right. Because USA Vs are pretty micro intensive, you, you need to be paying attention to them all the time. So rather than leaving some Vs here and having some Vs over here and splitting your forces and making them 50% weaker than they need to be, um, block off one side and focus all your micro and uh, your concentration of Vs in one area. And um, because I'm taking no damage really here early, all I did was lose that and it won one dozer. But I mean, when we've got another dozer, that's so it's worthless anyway. So, so now we've built up, we've got this this critical mass, and we're now getting into the mid game. So on that graph, we're like getting towards the middle. Probably a few more Vs, and I'm at that middle point. Maybe when the oil and the uh, strategy center is up, that's definitely when I'm at it. Especially when we're ahead of his palace, which is on the way. Because he's got these oils nice and quick, he's getting a uh, palace now. Uh, so because I've blocked off the side, he's now uh, killed a firebase, which is worth 1,000, as opposed to killing my economy. That's worth 2,000, so he's killed a firebase, so it's, it's stopped him. Uh, we're now about that midpoint, uh, probably at its peak, because... He's only just got his uh, palace up, so he's only just getting buggies out. But we're already at our peak because he hasn't caused enough damage early on. Back in base, if he sends text like that, you just want to be laser locking. So I've probably got this laser army on four. I would normally do and have this army on three. Come on in. So I can flick back to my base if I ever need to and just laser lock some stuff pretty quick. Um, so now I'm, I'm still at that uh, plateau, that peak. And because he's only just got his palace out and he hasn't caused enough damage early on, I've got this critical mass of Vs and we're going to cause massive damage. We're going to kill his palace. And he has got a number of uh, buggies out, so this game does go on a bit longer. But because he's already lost his palace and I've, uh, in that peak, I've done too much damage, he does, he does go on to lose that game. So it's all about just not taking damage early on, basically. Uh, just show you this replay, so it's another build order. Again, there's no need to sell your command center. This is another reason why Air Force is so strong. Because Air Force can not sell the command center and get both supplies up straight away and build that um, war factory straight away because these Chinooks are cheaper. And then the first V straight out there, lo and behold, we're going to go right and we're going to check for a worker. Now because Hawkey's quite a defensive player, he's done his tunnels a lot further back, so he's not being aggressive. Also because I'm air, 
you've got the point defense lasers that you can just put over uh, tech RPGs and it just denies them and your Vs can beat them easily. Uh, we're going to get these uh, these bunkers, so we've got that uh, left one, we're going to get that right one. And now straight away we've got huge map control, we've kept our command center and we're mass. getting towards that critical mass. Um, so that's all I wanted to show you of this replay. We do go on to win that replay, but it's not what I wanted to show. Um, I just wanted to show the opening. Uh, so here's another replay, I'm laser in the top against the guy called Sanko. Again, we've kept the command center and doing a dose drop so you can mix and match, mix and match these build orders. Uh, gonna get that Chinook collecting from over here because that's gonna deny, your Chinook will overrule those workers and it will collect, preventing him from working, from collecting. And this, this dozer can stop this one. So for, for a bit, he's actually on no supplies. I've moved that away before it takes any damage from the RPGs. I'm going to click, just click on there, and it'll automatically resume collecting. Um, so I'm back on 100% um, supplies, and this dozer is causing havoc over here. I mean, he's completely denied. Whereas Irvin in the other game, he dropped here, and he was like messing around, chasing like one worker, and then he put it in his Chinook, and then he came over here, killed two workers, and then went back over there. It was lots of micro when he could have been. Uh, back on 100% supplies at home and uh, getting that critical mass of Vs. Uh, so my first V comes straight out and straight to a side after that worker. Now Sanko played pretty well this game so he has denied that. I placed the barracks really quickly over it to stop the um, uh, stop the tech getting uh, scrapped up. I think he's killed the dozer down here so he has scrapped up once. Then it's all about like micro and your Vs back. Don't take, don't lose many Vs. You don't want to lose any Vs if possible. If you lose no Vs, chances are you're going to win if you push out at the right time. So I'm getting to that critical mass. Because I've got a command center, you're able to place drones and scans everywhere so you can see what's coming and you can pre prepare uh, better for that. Um, actually, in this game, I don't think I'm going to block off a side, which I should be doing. Uh, a firebase there or two firebases there would block it off nicely. Uh, have I got my Chinooks numbered? Oh, yeah, I've got them on nine and zero. Okay. So as soon as the quad comes, I'm moving it out straight away so it doesn't get to that damage state. Clearing outside, and the reason I've cleared outside is now I only have to focus on the center and focus on the on the right. Uh, Sanko's not got his oil in at seven minutes. That's pretty slow. Actually, pretty slow from me. But um, and then basically we push out now, and uh, that game does get won. He has got buggies already, but that's a different stage. I want to show you the beginning of the game. If he does go buggies, you can get things like tomahawks and the Colonel Burton out. Colonel Burton is the best option. Uh, show this one. So I'm in the north, uh, USA. So this is another way you can box your uh, dozer in. As I said before, you can do this triangle. First V then, I think I was going over here to stop this worker, but because we're on the cars edition, I'm just defending against these cars for a second. I'm going to check, I'm going to garrison these bunkers, because there's bunkers, look at that huge range that I've got. I can see everything come in, and it's a form of defense. Whoa! Just want to take uh, as least safe. damage as possible. Again, I've got my Chinooks on 9 and Serving 0, so I can move them out of the way straight away. Defend it as much as possible. Sometimes you will lose a supply and in that case you want to rebuild it straight away and with the fifth Chinook get collected straight away don't waste any time um, and then push out we've cleared well he's got no no tunnels on the right or left so that's what you want to do you want to deny deny the, the three pronged attack uh, is that the one we just watched uh, yeah it is and that last one isn't a very good example. So basically, yeah, that's it. You want to be uh, you want to be defending nice and early. Uh, don't take any damage, and then you want to push out mid game. And if he does get to that stage where he's got buggies and quads, because buggies and quads do beat everything, um, you want to go like Bert, Colonel Burton and a tomahawk, and or tomahawks, and you want to catch the buggies off guard with the Colonel Burton when the quads aren't looking. Well, the quads aren't there, you want to use the Colonel Burton to kill like loads of buggies. He can probably kill like five by himself. 
so yeah, that's my quick guide, guys, on USA versus GLA. If you want to reverse this and you're struggling as GLA versus USA, you want to flip it on its on its head, what I just said. So you want to be doing all the damage nice and early on. Uh, in the mid game, you want to be bunkering up, uh, especially like in the middle and tournament desert. You want to be getting enough tunnels and enough RPGs in those buildings to, to hold on until you get to the palace and you get buggies and quads out of two war factories. That's when you're going to win nice and easy because the quads and buggies just beat everything. Beat 90% of what's in the game. Yeah, so hope you enjoyed that, guys. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Please like and subscribe, and good game.